Hi everyone, welcome back to Awada Life. Today we are incredibly excited to be at the Nep Estate, famous for its rewilding project. Um, so we're just going to have a little walk around here and we're really hoping that we might be able to see the storks today. Um, so we're just going to have a wander and enjoy our day exploring. just followed the yellow walking route from the car park and then forked off on the red route because we know there's a stork's nest not too far from that route. It's been a slow journey, it's very muddy, uh, but it's really interesting to see how the soil has been disturbed by the, the cattle, uh, the deer and the Tamworth pigs. We've just seen the storks, they were sitting in the top of their nest and one was on the ground walking around as well so they've just flown off um, so we're just hanging out here under this tree waiting to see if they might come back but yeah just amazing to see them and, and when you see them in the air you really get an appreciation of, of how big they are but yeah really nice to walk around and, and be able to spot them. So the storks here at Nep, they first started getting reintroduced here in about 2016. There were some non-flying storks that were introduced and more and more young birds were being added to that pen. Um, and as of 2020, they had their first successful breeding pair. And then in 2021, they actually had seven nesting pairs here. And last year in 2023, an amazing 26 stork chicks fledged from the 11 nests that were here at Nep. So from being home to the first wild breeding storks in the UK in 600 years, the storks here continue to go from strength to strength. Just follow the path round and we found more storks. I think we can see three nests in the trees right now and one was flying around and it just came back into the nest and you can see the, the pair of storks doing the clattering of their beaks uh, when it landed, which was really nice to see. There's also behind me some of the longhorn cattle as well, which are obviously grazing and having a great time here at Nep. So yeah, just really nice to be wandering around and seeing all the different life here. So um, we've just seen two more storks and um, one of them actually brought in some nesting material um, and then the pair that were in this particular nest were actually mating. We had a red kite fly over and then a couple of other storks really fly, fly quite closely over our heads um, and head off in that direction as well. So um, yeah, really nice to see just so much activity going on here. After a lovely day exploring Nepa State, we decided to check in on a nearby badger set that we followed over the past few years. So it's back to the van to head over to the set and see if there's any signs of activity.
this time of year the badgers tend to be a bit more active there's a chance that they could already have some badger cubs so they'll be busy collecting material for their set as well as digging and searching for food we've been lucky enough to spend evenings watching the badgers at this specific set before badgers can use a number of different sets so we decided to use the trail camera to see how active they currently are and to find which areas of the big set here that they're using so we left the camera for a few days in the hope of capturing some of the badgers It was a beautiful evening and we headed to the badger set to check up on the wildlife camera and see if there's been any activity. We could see the young foliage of English bluebells coming up and it really felt like the early signs of spring. We checked the camera from the first spot we chose and managed to capture some activity, which is a great start. We had some rabbits, a lovely fox who decided to do a wee right on camera. He then came back again for another wee. And then finally, we managed to capture the badgers. as well as a bit of badger parkour. We decided to move the trail camera to a different side of the set because we saw some signs of recent digging in that area, so we believed it could be the main entrance they are currently using. So we're back here at the badger set this morning, um, nice early start, we are very lucky that we've got some family who live nearby to this badger set so we went and stayed over in the van there last night, um, we checked the camera last night as well, we saw some really fantastic footage but we thought we'd leave it one more day uh, and come back this morning and check it so we're just going to head in now, check the camera and see if we caught some more badgers. <laughs> Scrolling through the ones of me setting up the camera. Uh, and last night. Yes! Oh. There's loads! They were so active last night. So hang on. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight clips from yesterday. Um, so it was, it was so worth leaving it for an extra day. Like I. When we checked it yesterday, there, there were obviously a few on there, but um, yeah, there's maybe three or four, I think. But yeah, to get almost double that in just one night just goes to show how active this set is, which is amazing. So we'll definitely be coming back here in, in the spring and the summer and kind of keeping an eye on these guys because they're obviously absolutely loving it here. So um, yeah, really great result. We also captured the hind of a hind. Wildlife joke for you there. We're so pleased to see the badgers seemingly doing well here. We managed to capture them bringing in fresh bedding material, so we're very much hoping that there are some badger cubs either already in the set or that they'll be here very shortly. We're looking forward to filming them as the days get longer into late spring and early summer, and we'll be back with another video, hopefully very soon, capturing more of these beautiful animals. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any badger updates. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one.